Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one of my seasonal hand and foot spa videos. I've done videos like this similar on my channel before, but every time I make them, the recipes are a little bit different. So let's jump in and make some special recipes for this coming summer. First recipe is for our feet and we are making a lime and mint foot soak. This is pretty easy to make. All you need is Epsom salts. Epsom salts work really great when you're taking a bath, but you can also make a fabulous foot scrub or foot soak with Epsom salts. I'm adding some baking soda and then some lime zest. That's gonna give it a really nice scent. And then I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of peppermint essential oil. Now, there are different views on using essential oils while pregnant, so if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, be sure to check with your personal doctor or physician. I've made sure to get all the ones that I personally use approved by them, but everybody has different opinions, so be sure to check with yours. I'm adding a few drops of peppermint, then I'm gonna use a funnel to put this into a glass jar. Now you can keep this for up to a week. I like to keep it in the refrigerator. Without the lime zest, you can keep it for months and months and months because the baking soda, Epsom salt, and peppermint oil doesn't really go bad. So um, you can omit the lime zest and keep it for a lot longer, but the lime gives it a nice scent. I'm preparing a foot bath with a really large bowl, some warm water, and some river rocks. Now the reason for the river rocks is so that my feet don't slip and slide, and it also prevents the Epsom salts from pooling at the very bottom of the bowl. Now the flowers are just for fun, just so it looks pretty for the video, and I'm gonna put some of the soak inside of the water and basically allow my feet to soak for about 15 minutes. Your feet are being shown a lot more in the summer and it's really nice to have nice smooth feet so we are making a Himalayan salt and honey foot scrub. Very easy, adding some Himalayan salt, some coconut oil, and a few drops of chamomile essential oil. So I'm removing my feet from the water after the soak. I'm gonna take a little bit of the scrub and just go ahead and give my feet a nice scrub focusing on the heels, anywhere that you notice that you get the calluses. And um, I'm gonna scrub, 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 and then put it back in the water to soak for another minute or so. Remove any extra scrub and then go ahead and dry off your feet with a towel. I like to lay a towel below the bowl so that I don't get water everywhere and it also gives me a place to dry off my feet. Now let's focus on the hands. We are making a warm vanilla hand scrub. Very easy. I've made similar scrubs before but not this exact one. I have some sugar here. You could use brown sugar if you want. And then I'm using coconut oil. I have about a tablespoon of coconut oil and then just a few drops of vanilla essential oil. Now if you don't have vanilla essential oil, you can also use some vanilla extract if you want, just a drop. And you can use this all over your body if you want, but I'm focusing on the hands. So I'm gonna take this scrub and I'm just gonna really scrub my hands. I'm also gonna go up my arms too. What's really nice about this one is the coconut oil is really hydrating. So even after you wash it out, you can still feel a little bit of the leftover coconut oil on your arms and your hands. And it feels really nice. Finally, we are making a multi-purpose hand and foot solve. This is really great for severely dry hands and feet. And so I'm using a double boiler. In this situation, I'm actually just putting the measuring cup directly in the pot. And then I'm gonna add some coconut oil. I also have some beeswax and I'm gonna be adding some olive oil as well. Now I'm keeping the heat relatively low because the key here is to allow it to melt but not overheat it. And then once it's had a chance to completely melt, I'm gonna take it off and then I'm going to add some vitamin E and some essential oils. I'm adding about five to six drops of vitamin E and then just a few drops of frankincense and lavender. Frankincense is extremely healing and lavender is also 
plus it smells really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that into a jar and then allow it to harden completely overnight. You can use this whenever you want, but I also recommend using it with hydrating gloves and socks. You can find those on Amazon, but they work really great for very dehydrated skin. And sometimes that happens in the summer when you're walking around barefoot or you're walking around with sandals that can really dry out your feet. So use this in combination with some gloves, sleep with it overnight for really hydrated, soft skin. You can also use it on areas that are dry like your elbows or your knees. So feel free to use it wherever you think you need it. So that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button for new videos every week. I make a variety of different types of videos. So hopefully you enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.